Well, go on, everybody. Lennox here from Simple One Two Three Trader. This is the weekly playbook outlook for May twenty third to May twenty eighth. Hope everybody's doing well and are safe. Let's see what's uh, setting up for uh, the look of the futures for the week. And I'm starting off with the Australian dollar on the weekly time frame. And what I am seeing overall is a head and shoulders formation uh, that's currently um, setting up. So that means our neckline is somewhere in this area. And we'd be looking for a sub play, something like this to take us to the downside. However, uh, in the short term, we are indeed heading down. This has had quite a run to the upside. So um, now we're finally starting to see uh, this move to the down to the downside. Um, I called this out from a while ago that this was going to um, more than likely form a head and shoulders and then come to the downside. So now it's coming to fruition and uh, likely uh, more weakness in the Aussie. So weakness in Aussie would usually foretell strength in the US dollar. So let's see if that's gonna be so uh, going into this week. So it looks like weakness overall in Aussie. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Now Bitcoin uh, has had quite the run, but now is taking a dive. And uh, again, calling a call in 30,000 on the uh, Bitcoin last Sunday, uh, I said that we looking for anyone looking to pick up Bitcoin in the thirty thousand dollar area. That would be the, the what to look for last Sunday, and sure enough, we we went all the way down and hit thirty thousand. So um, you know we're looking at one a one week bar, mind you, of course. So uh, we were here and that and we dropped all the way down to thirty thousand. So what's going to happen this week? Well, it looks like we start we're starting off uh, in a good in a good way. Uh, it looks like it's we've hit so, you know a support area, looking like it wants to bounce to the upside. But is it really done? Is the key question. So from from a look of of this move, it doesn't look like we're done. And I think that um, there's more weakness to come. So we had to move back up, um, and we could see a similar type of movement like here. We could see something like that playing out here before we drop. Okay, so sort of like a, a show head, a large head and shoulders type of thing. And then this is our neckline uh, somewhere in here, and we're going to break through. So that's what I'm seeing. So <clears throat> further weakness in uh, Bitcoin for the week, um, and we could be down, maybe down in the twenty-five thousand uh, dollar area for Bitcoin before the week is out. Take a look at uh, crude oil. Crude oil also has had quite a run. And uh, I think this is gonna continue going higher because of course summer is coming. Uh, the, uh, the virus is, uh, everybody's getting vaccinated and all that stuff. So more people are gonna start traveling. So of course, demand is gonna be there for oil. So oil, I think will continue its move to the upside. And uh, we can see uh, that We've had a little bit of a pullback, but that was expected. And uh, we more than likely would push to the upside, challenging these previous highs. Okay, so oil for the upside. Let's take a look at the um, Canadian dollar. The Canadian dollar has had quite the run to the upside. It looks like um, nothing's gonna stop this from going higher. At this point, it looks very strong. So I'm going to continue with uh, strength in the in the Canadian dollar going into this week. Uh, the U.S. dollar. Now this is the key. So if we're correct about Aussie going down, then we we must be um, looking at a, a weak U, or sorry, a strong U.S. dollar. So um, if we're at a support area here, then I would expect a bounce. However, it's looking still a little bit weak to me. So we might uh, push through that low. Um, so maybe a bit of strength um, uh, in the short term uh, for um, the Aussie and then a drop or, you know, some further weakness in the U.S. dollar down to support and maybe beyond. But it does still look a little bit weak. I could I would expect a further drop before this turns. But 
if I'm wrong, then we're here at this support and we're going to bounce from here to the upside. But I, I think there's a further drop to come, but we'll see how that plays out. So we can really tell from the euro if the euro euro uh, on the weekly has been uh, very strong, but it's also coming up against resistance in this area. So it looks like we still have one more push to go, and that would mean further down for the US dollar. So let's see. It looks indeed that we could push one more time to the upside that would challenge uh, this this previous high we could get up there um, and the worst case scenario is we're, we're we're there we're here and we're gonna at this resistance and we're gonna we're just gonna turn back but it looks also like this has got one more push so that would mean uh, weakness in the US dollar and strength short term in Aussie and euro and uh, GBP New Zealand against the US dollar. Okay, let's take a look at the Swiss. So the Swiss on the um, weekly has been climbing steadily and it looks like it's going to continue its climb to the upside. So right now our next uh, resistance area is, is up here. So it looks like we have some room to, to get up into that area uh, indeed. So it um, looks like continued strength in Swiss franc. Uh, gold, very strong move off this. We came through this uh, channel here, and this was quite the channel here. We broke through, um, break into new highs here, and now we're we're, we're off. So we're we've just broke through resistance at this point, and uh, looking like we're going to challenge the next previous highs. So gold looks very strong. Of course, any kind of jitters in the stock market, people are going to turn to gold. Of course. Uh, as a safe haven. Um, let's take a look at the Japanese yen and on the weekly. Uh, it has been going down because of US dollar weakness. So um, it is now bouncing off this low, but still looks weak. So I'm kind of giving weakness to the Japanese yen. We could see a little bit of a blip uh, to the upside first, but further weakness more than likely to play out for Japanese yen. Uh, let's take a look at New Zealand dollar. So that should be the same as Aussie. Uh, we, we would expect a move to the upside. Um, we, you can see that here we also have a head and shoulders formation. So we could definitely start coming back down, but we could have a short term push to the upside because of the US dollar weakness. And right now it's looking little suspect it's, it doesn't look very strong it looks like we could fall through so uh very iffy with with both aussie and new zealand we could see some weakness in them in the short term okay uh let's see what we have um mexican peso on the weekly mexican peso has been very strong on the weekly and we're pushing we're right at resistance right now, so it has a battle to, to break through to up to these new highs, but it's going through a quite a, a challenging area, and uh, I would expect further moves to the upside, but it's it's going to take a bit of a, a of a push to get us through that uh, resistance area. Okay, um, the British pound has also seen lots of strength with the U.S. dollar weakness. And uh, this looks also, we're right at resistance, a very strong resistance all the way across. So we could see some, uh, you know, move sideways here before we get a push to the upside, but continued strength, uh, definitely, especially as the US dollar weakens. Okay, the next one we're gonna look at is silver and silver on the weekly, uh, also looking strong like gold. So I'm gonna give more, um, uh, um, to uh, silver pushing forward for the week. And uh, it's looking like that's that should continue. So we're just at a resistance, but it's it's took a little push back. We should get another push to the upside, challenging the previous highs way up here. So looking pretty good for silver and gold. All right, so now let's turn to the, the US uh, market, stock market. And here is the Russell 2000. This is on the daily, but let me go to the weekly. So on the weekly, quite the push up to this level, but now you can see that we're in this kind of triangle area 
and uh, it's it's been a, a little bit of a battle for it right now to get through. So is it going to push through to the upside? It looks like it wants to. So we we are in this like I say, it's like a triangle, um, very much sideways, and uh, it's looking to push and out and get out of here. But you know we could see some challenges to the previous highs uh, this week. So looking for strength in the Russell 2000, the Dow, the Dow on the 30 minute, on the uh, weekly, very strong. We've been just breaking to new highs every, almost every day practically. And uh, uh, here again, we're, we're looking, it's pulled back a little bit, but we're looking for further push to new highs again this week. So uh, looking for strength in the, in the, um, the Dow, especially lots of still lots of uh, big earnings to come out. Uh, the bank, the banks are all given earnings this week, so we should see some uh, some nice push in these. Uh, the S and P 500, same type of thing, pushing to the upside, new break into new highs, and I would expect uh, further breaks to new highs coming going into this week for the Dow. Um, and lastly, will you look at the U.S. Technology Group? And it too has had quite a push. It's taken a little bit of a of a turn to the downside right here, but I would expect again further push towards uh, new highs going into this week. And um, this current this this so what I'm seeing here is this move, and we're we're down back to this area, but we're pushing back to the upside. So I think we're going to push out of here and challenge the previous highs this week. All right, so that's a look at uh, the majors. So the key takeaway, especially for um, simple one, two, three members, uh, U.S. dollar. What's the U.S. dollar going to do? If we can peg what the U.S. dollar is going to do, this is on the daily. We're down at a first level of support. We have another level of support to come. Uh, we're in a channel. We're heading down. Um, if we break to the upside, then, you know, maybe all bets are off and we're going to be pushing to the upside. But it looks like weakness and, and we would continue to the downside uh, at least in the longer term over the week so that's my expectation so that would mean uh, plays for uh, Aussie Euro GBP New Zealand to the upside USD CAD USD Swiss USD JPY to the downside profitable trading to everyone be safe but done now thank you